My name is Eric Holabo. Uh, been a photographer for about 10 years, but seriously got into it about six years ago when I was at grad school at the Institute of Design, uh, formerly the new Bauhaus School. And a lot of my influences uh, really were some of the masters who went through that program. Uh, Harry Callahan, Aaron Siskind, and uh, most notably uh, Richard Nickel, who a lot of my work kind of makes reference to some of the actions he did with his photography. He went into a lot of, um, well basically he started documenting a lot of Louis Sullivan's works uh, around town and when he got to a building that was being demoed, he, he was kind of shocked to find that in the city that Louis Sullivan made so great with its architecture, they were just demoing it and not really paying attention to what was there. And I kind of admire that fervor he took at ph photographing these places and some of the preservationist side of, of his work. Um, some of that is referenced in mine, which uh, really tries to capture a lot of these buildings that have been in decline and somewhat forgotten and out of mind for a lot of people. But uh, their memory can somewhat live on through my photography. Uh, in particular, um, I really am drawn to some of the presence of life that is still inhabiting some of these places which is really uh, demonstrated in some of these photos, that you see people at one time or currently uh, living in these places. Uh, for instance, uh, this one called Doorway Maze, which originally uh, I was drawn to because of just the light moving through the space. Um, upon closer inspection, you, know, you see actually a sleeping bag where someone at one point was living. And you know, even with a building's decay, you know, there is reference to the community that once lived there. And it's these references that I, I'm drawn to that trying to think in, in somewhat of a urban anthropological way what, you know, societies were like after the you know, destruction of these buildings. Uh, this one from Detroit is the Packard Auto Plant and, you know, it currently was being used as a, you know, a refuge or a shelter for someone who, to live in. And I was really taken by this shot because I can imagine someone really just taking an old uh, seat from a bus, pulling it up to a window and really just, you know, that's the, you know, the view from their room. And it really just grasped, uh, it, it grabbed me because of just the power of that and, and really how even after these buildings kind of fall and decline, they're still uh, used by some people and they shouldn't be forgotten.